Discovery Museum. And today I've got an experiment with a bunch of different balls. I'm going to uh, experiment with the bounciness of these balls. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've collected a bunch of sports balls. So I have a football. I have a soccer ball, which is uh, American soccer or European football. Um, I have a basketball. I have uh, a golf ball and a tennis ball. I also have an eensy weensy marble over here. Now I'm going to um, set up my experiment also using a, a tape measure so that I can measure how how high the bounce is after it falls off. Now, to make sure that my experiment has the same exact setup every time, I am going to take the ball um, that I'm going to be using, I'm going to put it at the very edge of my table, and then I'm just going to make sure that it's right there at the edge, and then I'm going to let go and let it fall. Okay? And then I'm going to measure how high it bounces. And I'm going to try to record that because I want to make sure that I'm comparing how high they're bouncing. Okay? Now, I did have to do some inflating earlier this morning because some, um, some of my balls were a little bit um, deflated. So I'm going to be um, testing this out. I'm going to show you the process I'm going to use and then I want you to try it at home. So I have my setup, I've got my ball ready, I've got my tape measure. Um, if you have a, um, a meter stick or some other ruler, that would be a great idea to use too. But I've got a tape measure and so that's what I'm using. So I'm going to take the ball, I'm going to balance it very carefully on the edge, and then I'm going to let it drop. And I'm going to measure how high it bounced, okay? So then I'm going to record it. So um, I think it was about 23 inches, so I've got my zero mark here and I've got my, um, the highest number up here. So I think it bounced about 23 inches. So now I'm gonna try another ball. I'm gonna try the tennis ball. I'm gonna bring it right to the edge and let it tip off. Oh, that one didn't seem to bounce as high. That's interesting. So now I'm gonna mark that down. I'm gonna try some of my other balls. I'm gonna bounce my golf ball. And then I'm gonna do another trial. So I'm gonna put the soccer ball back up here and I'm gonna bounce it again. I'm gonna roll it up and see how high it bounces again, measure it, and then I'm going to look at my measurements just in case there was a crazy number, like it bounced 52 inches, like that's pretty crazy. None of the other balls bounced that high, even when I tried it again and again and again. That's called a fluke or an anomaly. So this way I know for sure that it didn't, it wasn't a fluke, it wasn't some sort of strange, you know, maybe I measured wrong. So I'm gonna test it one, twice, three times, that's about my average, so that I'll, I'll try them three times. So I'll bounce each one, I'll roll each one off the edge. Ah! Make sure that my ruler stays put. I'm gonna roll one, each one off the edge and measure it and compare, right? Now it might be helpful to have somebody else to help you measure it. They can use their eyeball to, um, to find the measurement while you do the rolling. But it's okay if you don't, you can just test it out on your own. Roll each one off, test each one, and then um, you know, compare your measurements. Which ball bounces the highest? Is it a small ball? Is it a big ball? Now, before you start this experiment, I want you to make what's called a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a guess. So I want you to guess which one will bounce the highest. Which one do you think will have the highest bounce? A golf ball, a tennis ball, a soccer ball, a football, basketball, baseball, the marble. I want you to test all of them to see whether your hypothesis was correct or not. 